Hello, scientists. Welcome back to Science Club with Mr. Bingham. Um, today, I have a challenge for you. Uh, I know you've been waiting this whole time thinking, Mr. Bingham, all this science stuff is cool, but when do we get to make something explode? Today. Today you get to make something explode. So, um, uh, you should have received from Mr. Bingham, you should have received your uh, antacid tablets and your, you should have gotten a uh, uh, film canister. This is just an old film canister like they used to put film in. Um, now, the way this is going to work, we are going to create a, we're going to create an explosion, um, contained, a contained explosion. Don't make a horrible mess of your house. Um, but basically what we're going to do is, so antacid tablets, they help relieve um, acid in your stomach, acid indigestion by, um, remember we talked about acids and bases. So when you get too much acid in your stomach, you eat an antacid tablet and they, they release um, calcium into your stomach. The, uh, it, the, the chemicals in here help to neutralize the acid in your stomach. So um, they do that. This is a pill. The pill you get is like this, but it dissolves in water. You drop it in water, it dissolves. There's a bubbly reaction that happens. So I'm going to demonstrate, and then I'm going to give you your challenge. Okay. Now, there's lots of things that affect when this film canister is going to pop. Um, the size of the tablet, the amount of water, the amount of air you put in here, the temperature of the water can make a difference. Um, so, I'm going to just take some of my drinking water, I'm going to pour it in here. Um, let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I probably put too much in there, so pour a little out. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the tablet and I'm just going to take a piece of it. I'm going to drop it in and then I'm going to put the cap on. Then I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to set it on this chair right here so that you can see, hopefully without making too much of a mess, um, you can see the reaction happen. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this in, put the cap on, put it upside down there, and then I'm going to stand back and wait as the pressure builds. Come on. And by the way, you're going to time this when you do this. Woo! There we go. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Okay. When you do this, and it makes a mess, so make sure you do it on something you can clean up. That's why I did it on my chair because I can clean that up pretty easily. When you do this, the pressure builds up because gas takes up more space than a solid or a liquid does. And so as that, um, as that tablet starts to dissolve, it turns into a gas. And it starts to take up more and more space, more and more space, and eventually, finally, um, it pops and it shoots that canister up in the air. Um, your goal is to uh, create what we're going to call a slow and a fast explosion. Okay, so, um, uh, so I, I want you and a target explosion. Let's do all three. Okay, so the goal is to get it to pop as quickly as possible. And by the way, the things you can change, you can change the temperature of the water, you can change how much water, you can change how much, how much tablet, um, you can change, uh, you can change, uh, there's all kinds of things you can change to affect how fast or how slow this is going to pop. So your goal is to make it pop as quickly as possible, as slowly as possible, but still has to pop. If it doesn't ever pop, it doesn't count. So as quickly as possible, as slowly as possible. And then I want a targeted pop. And that's where we're searching for a specific time frame. And the time frame I want you to aim for um, is, let's say, let's say the 20 seconds, as close as possible to 20 seconds, OK? So as quick as possible, as slow as possible, and then a 20 second pop. How close can you get to exactly 20 seconds from the time you put the cap on and turn it upside down to the time it pops? Um, so that's your challenge. Um, if you need more antacid tablets, you can get them pretty easily from the store. Uh, but I think I should have given you enough to um, at least 
get a good start on this experiment and test it out. Good luck. Let me know how it goes. I'm excited to see how well you can, how, how quick and how slow and how close to 20 seconds you can come. Um, uh, have fun with it, and we'll see you next time in Science Club.